Piney Point, the name symbolizes millions of gallons of polluted water and millions of dollars to clean it all up. It's been a little over two years since polluted water was released into Tampa Bay to save surrounding Manatee County homes from a dam breach at the old phosphate plant in Piney Point. Well, studies have shown that the wastewater fed the red tide algae bloom that caused problems for local waterways in the Gulf shortly after it all happened. And now we're learning that the contaminated water from this leak spread farther than experts originally thought. Here's our Fox 13's Ariel Placencia. Nothing is the worst thing to happen to our local waters in, in decades. March 2021, a leak was discovered in the old phosphate plant in Piney Point. More than 200 million gallons of the reservoir's polluted water were pumped into Tampa Bay to prevent catastrophic flooding. We're concerned about the discharges of wastewater. At the time, oyster farmers in Tampa Bay worried about the spread of polluted water. And scientists like Dr. David Tomasco shared a similar concern. I definitely think that Piney Point impacted us adversely. The director of the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program co-authored this study published at the end of May, where researchers collected water samples from four selected sites, including St. Joseph Sound near Tarpon Springs. Where we didn't anticipate anything would happen, so it would be like almost like a, a placebo in a medical study. But that's not what they found. The team studied nitrogen levels in the water and discovered a unique chemical marker they'd never seen before. It really was able to tell us that, boy, this water made it 30 miles away. Basically, data showed the polluted water released at Piney Point managed to get all the way up to the Tarpon Springs area. The model from USF suggested that this plume was going to be found all over West Central Florida, all the way out in the Gulf of Mexico. And this kind of suggested the model was right. Tomasco believes the polluted water traveled south, too. We're seeing uh, more algae in the upper part of Sarasota Bay than we've recorded uh, in, in years. Two months ago in April, crews began pumping the rest of the treated wastewater from Piney Point into an underground well. This is preventing any of the water from going out into Tampa Bay. But as Tomasco points out, there are roughly two dozen other sites, just like Piney Point, across the state. We saw the impact when one of these went bad, but these things have gone bad a number of times. In Piney Point, Ariel Placencia, Fox 13 News. And remember, the Piney Point leak sparked a major lawsuit by several local environmental groups alleging that the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and other groups long mishandled the site. Those are still working their way through the court system.